Hey guys, Joe Hildreth here from MyHeat.com. So, you know, as a hobbyist, um, a lot of times we try to find cheaper ways or, or different ways to do something that's done in industry simply because either what um, is available to industry uh, in large is not available to the home hobbyist or um, we just simply can't afford it, okay? And so one of those things that um, we frequently uh, talk about is molding sand, right? So I think the vast majority of us probably use uh, water bonded uh, uh, green sand, which you know is uh, clean silica sand, a certain amount of clay, usually bentonite, uh, could be western or southern, and a percentage of water, enough water to, uh, to, bond, to, to bind the clay. Petrobond on, uh, Petrobon, on the other hand, is uh, a clay that's made with clean silica sand. A Petrobond powder, which I'm not real sure what it is, but I think it's an oil activated clay, right? Uh, uses uh, m motor oil uh, or, or you know, regular oil uh, as the uh, uh, moisture agent instead of water and uses alcohol as a catalyst. So that's about what I know of it. So. Um, Petrobon is generally available to the hobbyist, but uh, it's usually pre-mixed. Um, you can't get any of the reconditioning components other than maybe oil. Um, it requires, uh, it, it's ne necessary to mull it, and uh, mulling sand is, uh, is a squishing action uh, that forces each uh, coat of sand to be uh, uh, coated with uh, the clay or, or the Petrobon agent, okay? Uh, so it's required to be mulled to be really used effectively. Okay, so um, Casey from uh, Five Tons with Guns, he put out a couple little videos and I want to put cards here at the top of the screen. I want to put links in the video uh, description below because um, I think this is might be worth some exploration. And uh, so the remainder of this video uh, is addressed to Casey, right? Uh, so Casey, uh, thanks for making those two videos. I found them. I found them rather intriguing. The whole the 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 process that you took to make what you're calling Petrobond sand. Um, you know the process that you used to make it. Make it. So um, again, I want to reiterate. Petrobond, as I understand, is silica sand, a Petrobond powder, which I think is an oil activated clay. Okay, uh, motor oil and alcohol, I think, okay? That's kind of what I have in my brain as what Petrobon is. And so some of you more experienced uh, molders like Sand Rammer or somebody like that, if, if, um, if you can give me a little bit more detail down in the uh, comments, uh, or the doobly-doo as uh, AVE likes to call it down below, uh, I'd really appreciate it. So what, uh, Casey, so what I seen you mix together was uh, you took a 25 pound bag of of tile grout and I think uh, you pick the uh, the bright white and I don't think the color matters really in this case and to that 25 pounds of um, grout you mixed a quart of 30 weight oil and the process you went through you know you kind of you mixed it and you you essentially mold it you know when you uh, were rolling it down and 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 beating it down with the uh, uh, the the stick or the mallet thing whatever that was um, so and then you know you uh, apply it get a little heat to it, a little extra heat to to uh, make the oil less viscous and and spread out through through the sand and uh, so that's very very different from Petrobon from the way I understand it uh, but I, I think uh, I you know I'm kind of curious if you're onto something because you stated in your video that you've made many castings using the sand uh, it's easy to recondition, and, and I think that would be a great thing for um, the hobby, our backyard foundry caster, the hobby caster, whatever, simply because, uh, I don't know about the rest of you guys, but you know, my shop time comes in fits and spurts of a half hour here to an hour there and that sort of thing. And using green sand, you have a, a sort of a short, a short shelf life to use it. Uh, and what I mean by that is that it's water bonded and the water evaporates off of it and it loses its ability to hold shape and, and some other things, right? Um, it, uh, uh, it's probably not a good idea to make a green sand mold and wait three days and pour metal into it, right? Because you're going to have some loose sand wash around. So, uh, I, 
I'm not sure what's in tile grout, right? Uh, the, the only thing that I know that would be in there would be some uh, fine silica sand, right? And would have some cement and it would have some coloring agents and probably some other additives for whatever reason, right? And you're simply uh, mixing that with uh, oil. So really, instead of using um, an oil activated clay, which I think is what Petrobond powder is, we're really kind of using, um, or you're using, uh, really what would be amount of cement as your as your uh, sticky agent, your active agent there. And uh, so my questions are this. Um, I would like to see, if you had time, uh, to ram up a couple molds. Now they don't have to be nothing uh, fancy or anything like that. It could be just a, a billet or a rectangular, whatever. You know, it doesn't matter. I would kind of like to see uh, how uh, a video of how that uh, uh, molding sand that you've made uh, molds up. Okay, uh, I'm, most of us are familiar with green sand, and some of us are familiar with Petrobond. So visually seeing it, we could probably get an idea of if it looks like it's a viable uh, thing to kind of help spread around and promote. Okay, um, I would like to see a, a, a aluminum poured into it because the vast majority of us pour aluminum. Uh, but I would also like to see something a little hotter uh, go in there, something like maybe brass. And I know that you have a, a furnace that uh, I know is capable of melting brass. And like I said, we don't, I'm not looking for anything you know some complex thing you know with a core and all that sort of stuff just something uh, simple so I can visually see um, the uh, molding process how the mold reacts to uh, the pour I'm looking for uh, the breakout how does it how well does it break out uh, you know the mold and uh, finally I'd like to see a little bit on reconditioning the spent sand or the sand that you've you know you've burnt the oil out of and how and how that affects so I know you're really busy and I know you're uh, doing a ton of things over there I actually I enjoy them quite a bit and and you guys I mean uh, uh, Casey's uh, videos kind of comes out in little short uh, little short uh, segments so you know sometimes you'll have to watch two or three in a row to get the whole thing but uh, I I, uh, I find what he's doing interesting anybody that's willing to get out from behind uh, the boob tube and uh, or the computer or the video games or whatever you know and get out and do something with their hands I commend that right uh, also want to report here at the end that uh, Walt, uh, Mr. Kiefer Walt Kiefer from uh, Southern Engineering uh, did did receive the lay that I sent him and he's very very appreciative and Walt thank you for the trade that you gave me uh, Walt was kind enough to give me a, a bottle of uh, Glenn Fittich uh, 18 year old scotch so I uh, won't be in the shop with that, but hey, yeah, better bet. I'm going to enjoy it. So uh, other than that, Casey, thanks again for putting out those videos. I find them rather interesting. I'm looking forward to more videos from you, especially your, uh, your Gingery Hacksaw build. And I'm looking forward to seeing uh, you use this uh, sand that you made. Uh, and, and how viable it is and and if it looks pretty good I'm gonna I'm gonna do a video segment on making some of that myself and then see uh, maybe we get some of our other fellow metal casters to try it and and see what it is or see how it works so again Casey thanks uh, for for doing that for us and again uh, I've, I've put cards up here at the top uh, and I'll put uh, links to his video down here in the bottom in the description so other than that guys hey um, I'm still working on the shop uh, I'm trying to move things around. I'm just I'm just slammed right now, and and it's uh, probably why you're seeing the CNC for uh, hobbyist videos come out because I can actually uh, do those uh, late at night and at my computer or whatever. Um, but I've not forgot about you. There is more machining stuff coming up. I got a project that I want to do with a steady rest, uh, uh, making a steady rest and that sort of thing uh, from design to. Uh, 3D rendering to CNCing the patterns, uh, mold boards, um, casting, machining, the whole ball of wax. So uh, that should be a multi-part uh, uh, series for the uh, YouTube shop student. So uh, other than that, guys, hey, thanks for watching. Okay, I appreciate it. Thanks for all the subscriptions, the comments, the questions. That's why I do it. I'm just I, I enjoy the interaction. Okay, uh, so thank you for all that, and and I mean that from the bottom of my heart. And other than that. Have a blessed day.